Hello, buddy. Welcome to a quick video. Today, we're just going to be looking at a new scam that is going around that I think is quite concerning. Because if you look at this, uh, it's coming from an official uh, YouTube email. And at first, I thought, okay, they've spoofed it, which is easy enough to do with emails. But that's actually not what's happened here. So this was sent to me by my friend, a tech doctor uh, UK, who I've DM'd on Twitter a couple of times, various sport issues. He didn't fall for this scam, luckily, but he was very confused because he got an email from YouTube real one saying YouTube team sent you a video changes in YouTube rules and policies check the description now that the way this works is YouTube has a feature where you can share a video and this person has used it so they made a YouTube channel called YouTube team which of course is not restricted and they simply said changes in policies check description so if you check the description you get if you receive this message you will need to confirm the new monetization policy and rules please use the link below uh, to do that and it is for your access only youtube content creators this is actually because the password helps defeat virus scanning so now what we end up with if we decide to download this is we get a zip file with a password and if we extract this i uh, don't extract this I, I i'm doing this because this is a windows virus on a mac so it's not going to work but if you do not extract this on a windows computer what we will get now this is uh, once again something pc security channel noticed while talking about linus's hack is the compression ratio here is incredible 6.9 megabytes open it what if you get 800 megabytes and we get a screensaver file this is not a pdf although if you're on windows it will have an icon of a pdf but of course because that's just the exe's icon it doesn't work on other operating systems now the way this works is partially because by default Fault, Windows does not show file extensions. And these people are actually kind of clever. And I even put the PDF in there because you might know that if you don't have file extensions enabled, you might know, oh, PDF, that might be a malware. No, this guy, this is quite clever. So what now, because it's big, you will not be able to send this to virus total. We can try. It might get some results. It will simply say this file is too big. Max file size exceeded. Now, interesting. Uh, that's exactly the limit. So we can go into hex fiend, which I downloaded to show this. We can see what's actually in here. So we get a lot of zeros. Now, these guys have gone with a different approach. Uh, they have, let's see, is this just all garbage data? But then we have what looks like potentially real data. So this one wouldn't be as easy to clean up as the one that Linus had. Uh, now, I don't know what would happen if we put this in a non-encrypted compress. This one is a zip file that is not encrypted, so it should work. And this should tell us what's actually under the hood here. Or it just scans the zip. Oh, there we go. Here's one that does figure out what's going on. Most of these don't seem to understand this is a zip file, so we're not going to get super uh, fun with this. AI score. Okay. Yeah. Kind of weird. Yes, yeah, so we get some that are sort of figuring out that there might be something less than honest about this file, but nothing, nothing super obvious. Now, what the file will actually do if you execute it, and anyone who's watched my channel should know this, is it will take your cookies, all of your session data from Chrome, and that will allow the hacker to act, act as if they're your channel without showing up as a new login in your Google Security Manager. And then they can just exfiltrate the stream key, start the Tesla scam stream, which is what they usually do, and then promptly get your channel terminated. This is a common scam, but this is, a, in my opinion, the most convincing approach I have seen of this where you get a YouTube team. It's a bit like the one Jim Browning fell for, but used a Google domain. That's going to be all for this short video. I just thought I'd put out a bit of an alert about this one.